Hi, one forum is brings you the best. Please kindly subscribe to this channel. Your comment and your likes will be highly appreciated. Yes, today we are taking a look at one great lady in our unique segment. This is a segment with that unique segment. We are talking about one great lady by name Gracia Marshall. But we decided to call her the mother of two nations. Why? You get to know today. Yes, this is a lady that used to be the former first lady of South Africa as well as Mozambique. Yes, yeah, that's how great that the person is. It's something that she has achieved a lot of many ladies on earth can achieve that. Yeah. She used to be the first lady of Mozambique as well as South Africa. Let's take a look at her life. You know, this lady was born, this great lady, a famous lady, was born in 1945. We are talking about 17th of October 1945, right in Mozambique. Yes, yeah, she was born into a farming community. Yes, that should tell you the kind of person that she is. She was brought up very well, well trained, and she's been able to achieve a lot for herself. After being born, you know, into a family of six, we are talking about six children. She happened to be the last one, number six. Yeah, that should tell you, you know, even if they should share, in the, if they should share items, she'll be the least person to get. But they managed to take her to school. She had a basic education right in Mozambique, worked so hard, and as a result of her hard work and determination, she has scholarship. You know, those days, you know, Portuguese were colonizing uh, Mozambique. Yes, yeah, so as a result of that, she managed to get a scholarship to study at the prestigious university. We are talking about University of Lisbon, right in Portugal. Yes, she went there, she worked so hard, achieved many laurels for herself, and later joined the movement. You know, most of the people that were born in the 20s, 1920s, 1930s, 40s, most of them took part in the liberation struggle when it came to Africa countries. And this was exactly what that this great lady, Gracia Marshall, did. She joined the organizations and she was fighting for the liberation of her people because they are the few, they are the elites now, because they are the ones that were able to have the opportunity to leave the country, Mozambique, and have been able to achieve some academic laurels for themselves. So during those days here, yeah, when she was fighting and working so hard for this liberation movement, she found this great guy who happened to be the leader of the Freelimo. We are talking about Samura Michelle, who later became the president of Mozambique, yes. In 1975, they got married, yes, they agreed and they got married, and life has been so good, and she became the first lady of Mozambique. That was how she became the first lady of Mozambique, not on a silver platter, but because of her enthusiasm and the way that she was working so hard for the liberation movement. Samora Michelle, no very well, this is a lady to work with, to be able to achieve great things for the country called Mozambique. So these have been going on until tragedy struck, and that is the death of Samora Michelle in a plane crash. Yes, that was something that is a serious heap of bricks on her. She was grieving or she grieved for so many years, but she did not allow the grief to make her retreat because once your husband is no more, you are no more the first lady. And a lot of things will happen. But because she was young then, she decided to channel her grief into doing something very viable for her people. So she fought so hard and I think she is still fighting because she's still alive for the right of education for children as well as women. Yes, that's how great she is and the right of women and children. She fought so hard and worked so hard for them to a very high level, an international level. We are talking about UNICEF. Yes, she worked with UNICEF just for ladies, our sisters and all our siblings for them to have very good education today. Her voice uh, or her policies or her plans or the projections or the things that she did contributed to successful life that most of the ladies are having now. That is why she deserves to be saluted, yes, at all levels. So during the course of all this, she was going and moving from one country to the other. As the former first lady of Mozambique, she was going about her duties. And in 1998, she found love again with the great, 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 we are talking about Nelson Mandela, the anti apartheid great hero, yes who was in prison and released from prison cell many years in prison when the Robin Island came out of prison and became the president, the first president of, of uh, South Africa. After becoming the president, yeah, he needed someone to help him to build the new South Africa and to build and heal. So he called on this great lady as a wife and they became married. The marriage ceremony was performed and she became the first lady of South Africa. Yes, we are talking about 1994 going years. So during the tenure of the great Nelson Mandela, she was the first lady in that country. That is how she became the mother of two nations. That is the first lady of the Mozambique as well as the first lady of South Africa. That is why she needs to be respected at all levels. And she's working so hard. And even that, though she was occupied with a lot of ways and jobs as a first lady, she managed to keep to her trust of working for the rights of women and children. Yes, she fought so hard and still worked for them, even becoming first lady again in South Africa. I should tell you the kind of person. But sadly, you know, sadly, 
Most often than not, because she was a first lady to great guys. Yes, she was a first lady to great guys. Most often than not, little is said about her. But she also accomplished a lot for herself, including her work. So she continued her work as the first lady, and she was doing that in conjunction with other things that she needs to do for herself to keep her names in the annals and the books of the world. Yes, so she still worked with the international organization, and she has a trust. Yes, she worked for her trust, and the trust imparted a lot of lives. Yes, I'm talking about women and children. Yes. That's something that she worked for, and the whole world must remember this great lady. She shouldn't be forgotten. No, there is no way that she should be forgotten. So after the death of this great guy, Nelson Mandela, she had to retire back as the former first lady again of South Africa. But she's still active. She's still alive. We are talking about a lady that was born in, in 1945, yes, she's still alive and kicking, yes. That should tell you how great this lady, beautiful soul and great soul, and she's working so hard for the interest of children and women again. Please, let us continue to give her a shout out and praise her for she's alive, so that we'll not be here to give only tribute. We'll de dedicate our time and research more about her and bring to you for our younger sisters and our siblings to learn from. For more about things and stories about life and achievement of great guys, be on this channel and kindly subscribe to this channel one for all means when it comes to security and crime will also be here when it comes to politics of africa and historical antecedent we'll be here to analyze and tell you everything for you to know for more kindly subscribe to this channel one forum news for the best always your likes and your comments will be highly appreciated thank you so much always be in touch thank you